today we have the nav in the shed as you can see that's because the boys from throttle grenade have sent me their newest addition to the website the anytime rear locker switch you can get it for navara or hilux basically gonna show you how to put that in today we're gonna need this no that's, huh? don't okay. need the viper no you don't need a welder for this install if you're wondering wasn't that one of the first mods that i did to the nav and yes it was but the boys from throttle grenade have just always supported the channel from the very start so i thought why not support them back and do this little install video to show you their latest product Alrighty, so this switch is pretty cool. All the wiring's concealed in braided nylon. Comes with a really cool switch. Um, it's got like a lightning bolt on it, so there's not gonna be any mistake what you're pressing. It's like, why would you even bother with this switch? The main reason is because Toyota and Nissan don't let you have use of the rear locker unless you're in low range. Actually, is very handy. If you're on the beach and you've got this, I highly recommend you just go full -wheel drive rear locker on. And you will not get stuck. I mean, especially if you've got your tires down. That's probably the main reason. Say you're on a, like a gravel road, just in two wheel drive, like nothing's wrong. And boom, you hit like a muddy section out of nowhere. Can just hit the rear locker on for two wheel drive and drive out generally. So that's pretty cool too. But the main thing is the fact that your locker only works in full low. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, completely back in theory. Because going into full low is a pain in the ass. If you're in full high, you can throw the locker on. Jamie, what are you doing up there, mate? I'm checking out the mess. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my <laughs> so let's get stuck into it, eh? First, open your door. Then you get Mac to do the rest. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy, I can do it. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna run through the steps pretty quick. It's actually a pretty simple thing to install, guys. Start with, pop your bonnet and disconnect your battery. But if you have the automatic, whack it in neutral before you do that. If you've got a manual, I don't think it'll matter too much. So if you've got the automatic, slide the collar down, pull the pin off the front of the stick, lift the shift knob upward. Very important not to lose the pin. Now with a pick or a small flathead screwdriver, the piece of console that surrounds the shifting knob leave it underneath and it'll pop straight up it's clips all around the piece of dash in front of it that has the full drive knob and the spare slots for the switches whack your hand under pull down and forward and it will come off quite easily it's all just clips so the first time you do it it is quite sturdy mine's been off a few times so it's getting easier head around to the glove box drop down squeeze the back and then unhook it, comes off pretty easy. And once that's off, you'll look to the right hand side, you'll see a little gap on the right hand side, in the little gap there's a little plug. Pull that out, and that's the plug that you put into your throttle grenade harness. It will only fit in one of the holes, and then the other side of the harness goes into the spot you just pulled the plug out of. So now it should be starting to make sense. There's only one more plug on that harness, and it goes to the back of the switch they supply you with. The piece of dash that you pull down and forward has those spare switch holes in it. You can actually turn it around. There's another four screws. If you want to make it easier, pop them off and then the whole thing can come out of the car and, and you can work with it. I do that, so it's pretty easy to do. You'll notice with mine, I actually have the front locker switch, which is another thing, throttle grenade switch and my standard rear locker switch. I have just left that in because I didn't have anything to plug the hole. You can actually just remove the stock rear locker switch and replace it with theirs. Leave it all plugged in, but just hide it behind when you put everything back together. But totally up to you guys. If you want to do it how I've done it, then just do that. As well. Whack it all back together in reverse order. Don't think I need to show you exactly how to do that. Reconnect your battery and then check everything works. First thing you're going to check is turn your accessories on and then push the button. It should light up with the little lightning bolt. If the switch is working, you'll notice your dash will show the, the diff lock light on the dash as well as the ABS and traction control lights. This is normal. It's a very simple install as well for the Hilux. If you want one of these bad boys, you can use Boom TJ on the website and you get your 10% off. It still applies to the throttle controllers as well. That's how these guys have always supported the channel. So thanks throttle grenade. Yeah, and it's a nice little discount for you guys too. So keep that in mind. This comes out very soon, if not already.